Welcome back to How To Authority. Now, if you use ChatGPT a lot, you may have come across this, the Internal Server Error 500. But okay, what on earth does that error code even mean and how can you, the user, deal with it? Well, probably the best thing you can do from the start is to check if ChatGPT is currently down. OpenAI do have a status website where you can see the uptime of all the services so you can determine if ChatGPT is down or not. So before anything else, make sure to check that website first. So if it is down, all you can really do is just wait around and hope it gets fixed soon. Just there's not really much else you can really do, apart from maybe trying to send Sound Altman a really angry email. But there's some other things you can do to see if it's maybe a problem on your side. If ChatGPT is up, but you still get this error. The first thing I'm going to try is just reload a page a couple of times, see if that helps, and if it eventually starts working. If it still doesn't work, then the next best thing you can do is to try and delete the cache and cookies. On the Chrome, the easiest way to do that is simply click on this icon in the search bar on the top left, then click on cookies, then simply select, delete them all, and refresh the page once again. If it's still going on, then maybe it's the fault of the browser itself. At that point, you can just try a different browser. If you're using Chrome, then you probably already have Microsoft Edge already installed on your PC, you can try that. Or one of the many other options available on the market right now, with of course the most popular ones being things like for example Firefox or Opera, or even Safari if you're on Mac instead. And of course things like Samsung Internet if you're on mobile. It could also be your internet, but that can be very easily checked by trying to load any other pages and see if they load. If they don't load, then make sure by checking in the bottom right of your Windows taskbar if you're even connected to the internet. Those are the main things you can do to get ChatGPT up and running again if you ever get this error. Again, most commonly it's caused by an outage on their end, but there's still some things you can do to double and triple check it's not anything on your side. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.